Yo, what is up guys? I'm Game No Shame back with part two for our walkthrough. Uh, we had just reached our home island after uh, escaping from, or freeing our crew from Kavte, Kavte the Cruel, something like that. So we are going to uh, continue off there. See you guys in a second. We're back. We have just got back, like I said, and, well, well this look who it is. we have to speak to a couple different people, uh, Gunnar Practicing and your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teaching, I'm sure my next no, challenger no, no will slay. Mm, no, the rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Oh. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> in flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... Remain on oh, theme. I suck at this. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Dang it. Close, you're close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Yeah, Happy to it. help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps uh, I will. Thank you, Alvis. I'll need that. That's pretty cool, though. Fighting duels increases your charisma level, which can unlock special dialogue options in certain situations. Fighting duels can be found in towns across the world. Well, that's pretty cool. They have like little side things like that, so it's kind of like Gwent from The Witcher 3. Here's Gunnar. Wolfkist. Welcome back. Gunnar. There you go. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Oh, so the ingot I found from that one big boy is um, how I do that. Bring ingots to the settlement's forge will allow Gunnar to enhance white armor and weapons. Doing so will unlock rune slots, increase the pieces upgrade limit, and may improve its appearance. Huh. see that should do it anything else 
Let's see this. Yeah. Huh? I'm confused. Oh, okay. So I can enhance this. How many? I only have one. So yeah, that ingot that I got was. Anything else? Yeah, let's ask you. Yeah, let's ask how he is. How are you doing? How are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Oh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, <laughs> passionate what? weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. <laughs> That's all for now. Return any time. I will take you up on that deal, Gunnar. I was gonna talk to Volka, I think her name was. Can't scare piece of you to slot rooms. Oh, let's go do that. Runes. I don't think we have any. Oh, we do. Minor rune of rage. Plus two health per percent attack. They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. Oh, the king this is, is not going This anywhere. is where we have to go to talk to the king, I guess. There's all types of bows, each with different functions and specialities. There should be some Beowulf missions in here. Legend of Beowulf and stuff. Which, because I seen that there should be. I don't know if it was for pre-ordering or for getting the season, the the good, the big boy edition, the gold edition. I need to get the ultimate or whatever. Because you know I don't need to spend all that. But um, I got the gold, and it said that they came with them a Beowulf mission or something. Get into a fight on the way up there. It'd be funny. I need to move these. Get all the silver we can. White mask and iron ore. This is closer. Let's make a noise for me to get into the inventory because I've seen something. My fisties. I think this is gonna do a one shot to the head. To my bag. This stuff. Okay, that's trading goods. Got a, a five uh, power level. Let's actually think of Avengers when I see power level. Which I don't know when I'm gonna stream next since I got this. And I'm about to get Cold War, so. You know, there's that too.
You actually need the uh, scale down for this. You can't just jump off of extreme heights like an Odyssey. We made it to Valka's hut. Hope I'm saying that name right. Can't go in there. She's got a big head. Let me get some action, man. Come on. Just doing some running around. I'm gonna fast travel back to the village, though. I can tell you that. I ain't running that way. Hamuram. Balka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He, he bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Yeah. He's naked and afraid. Huh. Is that my father? Looks like my father. My father. Huh? I saw nothing, Balka. Felt nothing. Javi! Javi! Yeah. I walk among the dead. Sigurd, brother, when did you arrive? What the heck is going on, bro? What is this? It's called hell. That's what this is.
Mother! What is this? There was no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! This was not for you, Javi. Dude, if I fight a dragon, I'll nut in my pants. I'm just saying. It's that'd be so awesome. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared. The size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He is my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Or oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Okay. That's nice. Let's go. That was a crazy freaking thing. Like, oh, I don't know. That's weird. Let's get these skill points going. Oh, yeah. I'll take the health. Way of the wolf. Ability damage. Voice crack. Holy lord.
stomp on their face. Huh. Interesting. Can't wait for that. Kind of willing to look for. Must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Okay, here we go. Excellent, King Stubjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the May the winds favor your voyage, Githormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our, our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts, Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Well... I've been wanting to make these other ones 20 and 30 minutes long, but this one has no action. Hey, hey, careful with that one! Sigurd! <laughs> ah, look at you, blood-soaked drinker! Oh, have you been worried without me? Oh, and you, salt-cured Vikinger! I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagard, and they showed me her very oh. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invit. My oh, brother is no. always very careful with the com- Why does he keep cutting out? Ah, Eivor. 
things. What's going on? That sucks. <laughs> I love glitches, man. I didn't think I'd capture one like that, though. That's funny. Well, what I was automatically thinking of was, um, those are, they are assassins. They have to be, more than likely. And then, I, what I was also going to say is, he's, he's starting to say, may, he said, may the, and so I was, did my game just crash? This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told okay, us here Abel we go. the wolf kissed was captured by Kyotr's men. All right, sorry about that. We are back. Salt. I killed my captors the, uh... and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotr from our lands. Sorry about that, but I had a whole bunch of glitches that just I happened. I know. Freaking father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. So it took me a minute. You. By the winter's and end, the name Kurt the Crew will speed. be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. I want this. Where's Daddy? My son, welcome home, uh, Father. Uh. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all, he has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> dude, dude, the king is so a part of the Rustam Templar Order. I already know down it. the Volga River, raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors. Just and beauty the eyes must yeah, weep yes. to behold. Now Sorry, guys, returned. this video has no freaking combat at family, all in it. My friends, but my this is all part of the story, so this is going to be a video on its own. So I think after this, to keep it short, I'm going to end it, and then hopefully Tomorrow, we're going to be a good place for next time. That, you know, we get some good. You, Abel, come. I have something special for you. <laughs> There are others to speak with. Okay. But, um, yeah, hopefully we get some more. Have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. Hopefully and we get some more action. Not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight, but your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long, he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Yeah. Ah, we should all be Dirty. so lucky. So <laughs> <laughs> talk to this other guy right here. This is a Templar, I mean, a uh, assassin. All right, Python, no. is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes, but the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. 
But always I am with my mentor, Basim. A mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at yep. that for now. Assassins. I understand. Do it. Do they but just if you like hope to stay tight lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. Part of the sun. Can I sit and talk to this dude? You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago. To rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. <laughs> As if a forgotten oh, memory major, but... of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening. I thought Speak long and hard to a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Fornberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink. <laughs> Shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. Mm, <laughs> Gods, funny. you I'm should have let me start. It's good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed... Oh, when I go. first met Basin. I regaled him with tales of our homeland, and it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. <laughs> this brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan. Not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. Yes, sir. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now, I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One mm. we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifam. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. Yes, sir. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Oh, yes, sir. Outside. 
This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. I don't want it in there. Uh, Alright. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Um, I'm going to end it here, just so, you know, we can save some time and then probably hopefully get into the next one and, you know, get some time going. So, hope you guys did enjoy. You probably didn't because this one's just been a whole bunch of just nonsense. So, sorry about that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I've been out of my shame. And I hope you guys... Have a good rest of your day whenever you watch this and leave a like down below, subscribe to your channel, turn on those post notifications if you will do so kindly, and subscribe to your YouTube channel or share it with your friends, even though I just said that. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.